In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about a shampoo background remover and show you how to crop objects in your photos. You won't believe how quick and easy it is. Let's get started. To open an image, I can either use the button or drag the file into the application window. Let's use the button for now. Background Remover auto-detects and crops dominant image elements straight away, but you can always add or remove pixels manually. Here's how. To help you to quickly spot areas to add or remove, we've added the Background Transparency slider. Use it to adjust the visual separation between crop region and background. Use the brush tool to add or remove individual pixels, depending on the selected mode. Red means remove, blue means add. Right-click to quickly toggle between the two modes. The color of the circular selection will change accordingly. I'll now paint over the image to select the underlying pixels. The selection will appear red or blue, depending on the current brush mode. Before I start painting, I adjust the radius of the brush using the slider. I can also hold down Ctrl and use the mouse wheel to the same effect. Naturally, I can also use the wheel to zoom in or out of the image to make the selection process easier. Let's see how well the auto cropping worked by moving the transparency slider all the way to the right effectively making the background invisible. In case the program overshot the mark, I can set the slider to 50% for an easy before-after comparison. Feel free to play around with the slider to find the setting that works best in your situation. I can add and remove as many pixels as I like and need. When I'm satisfied, I click the check mark to confirm my changes. And I don't have to worry about accidental confirms. I can always hit reset to restore the original state of the image after auto cropping. Let's move on to the next program section where I can replace the background and save the finished image. I can save the image to a file or copy it to the system clipboard for instant use in other applications. To put more focus on the crop region, I can also apply a bokeh effect that blurs the background. There is a separate slider to adjust the strength of the effect. Aside from retaining the original background, I can also replace it with an existing image and create entirely new scenes. The opacity of the crop pixels is adjustable through a dedicated slider. And I can also mirror and rotate them. Now, let me just save the finished result and we're done. That's it for my brief primer on a shampoo background remover. Have fun cropping your photos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release new content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.